Hello and welcome to Let's Play Mass Effect 2 Part 35. Um, right, so taking Tali and Miranda with me for this mission. So there we go, there are the defense shields, it's, it's activated, and so I guess I've got to try and take them down, destroy the geth generator. Okay, so I think I have to hide behind... Ah! Oh. Okay, so that didn't work. I figured that what I needed to do was hide behind the generator so that when it fired the cannon, it would hit the generator, and then destroy that instead of me. But apparently, um, it can hit me even behind the generator, so that didn't work. Go figure. Let's try that again then. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to stay out of this pink zone. And that's taking down the shield. Yeah, I see. Stay out of the pink zone. But I think so long as I stay out of that pink zone, I'm probably okay. Try and get the shield generator into the pink zone. And keep myself out of it. Stupid guest cannon. Oh, whoa, 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 I think so. Oh no. It got me that time. That was rather a broader targeting area than I was expecting. So, well, it's cannon really. I mean, it just sort of like blows up a really broad area, doesn't it? But I think I was close that time. So I might have to really speed speed out the way from that from that last one because I think I think I may have annoyed it maybe. <gasps> oh, oh dear. I think I've annoyed it. <laughs> it's, it's like you were laughing at me. I'll show you how stupid I am. Avoid 
avoid the deathly pink. again cuts in order definitely cut out all the dying I think when it's closer to it, it covers a border area, so... Shite! Shite! So what else is new? What are they doing to that death? That's pretty... It's 
so GLaDOS, isn't it? It's even got the cameras. I mean, early GLaDOS, maybe. down deeper. This is this is going so portal. This is hilarious. I mean, that music's probably too quiet for you to hear. Maybe if I stand here, can you hear it? It's the, uh, yeah, anyway, portal music. And this is a puzzle room. Oh, 
that gives me bridge. Um, is that all I need? It's not good enough, is it? Okay. Is that the only one that will move? Okay, that's probably... to get to that bit over there, right? Which I don't know if that will be any any use to me. Oh, apparently it won't let me get to that bit over there. In theory that would allow me to get across the room, but it doesn't. I'm so cute in here. And is that a movable floor there? Oh, oh, that allows you to. Ah, right. That's a lot better, isn't it? Problem solved, I would think then. Not, not really. Uh... So, so, yeah, presumably that's it. Unless, of course, there's a way of... Was there any other things you could potentially get to by uh, moving the floor in another way? Yeah, because there's... you could get to that... that one over there. that recording before continuing. Power cells, lovely. Oh, and that's just a bit of, oh well, still some satisfaction in having um, <sighs> it's 
soul of this place. Well, I think that does it, doesn't it? Override switch. Thank <laughs> you. 
Successfully issued override command from the station. Solid rock or something. Let's go that way. That way? It's not the best way, is it? Wait. 
Ah, this way maybe, it wants me to go that way. Okay. Oh, right, so that's where the station is. Wrong, but I seem to remember Gareth gets overload, so. Let me just check. Yeah, Gareth gets overload, Miranda gets overload, so between us. and plugged him, merged his mind in with the Geth. Okay then. Ah. You not let me in here? Maybe get in that door. Okay. So it's basically just, uh, yeah, glitchy AI ness. <laughs> disabled brother as a guinea pig. It's basically what he's done, isn't it? Okay, so we have to take that elevator, that's the only way to go. Great, always nice to take elevators in uh, buildings that are semi on fire. References to portals that they were, they're very, very funny. <coughs> Arriving at level four. Arriving at level 
six. System malfunction. Oh. What? Resetting elevator. Resetting elevator. Arriving at level two. Arriving at level four. Arriving at level one. Arriving at level three. Arriving at level five. Arriving at level two. Arriving at level four. Arriving at level six. Arriving at level three. Arriving at level five. Arriving at level seven. Good. Dead. Oh no, 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 no. Wasn't really ex <sighs> Oh well. Death is death. Say lovey. Oh, oh good. I don't have to do that whole thing with the death again. <laughs> Yes, was not anticipating getting the elevator. Probably should have been, but wasn't. That's a weird door. Get ready. Don't be surprised if this button summons a replay. <laughs>
some kind of holodeck. It looks like I'm alone in here, but I don't really believe that. I think this is in my mind. <laughs> So this is an actual room then. Thank <laughs> you. 
why I'm thinking you never asked his brother whether he actually wanted this. some question as to capacity and maintenance. Kill that archer guy. Thank <laughs> you. 
that's got it. Look, but I never intended any harm to come to him. You must believe me. It's oh. not like I planned this. It was an accident. Seeing David communicate with the Geth, it all seemed harmless. Oh yeah, it looks like an accident, doesn't it? And before you knew it, you were running your own private hell. I had no choice. The demands were incredible. The elusive man doesn't broke up failure. Any war we fight with the Geth will be bloody. I was asked to find a way to avoid that. And how many have already died for this project? More souls than will ever forgive me. But I won't apologize for radical ideas. If my work spares a million mothers mourning the loss of a million sons, my conscience will rest easy. Look at him. Your brother will never be the same. The damage may not be permanent. He might recover some semblance of his mind. Cerberus will never leave him alone. Your brother will always be a lab rat. You're a well cared for lab rat. At least he'd still be alive. So you'll sacrifice your brother's happiness for your own ambition. Square root of 906.01. Equals. 30.1. What I've done to David is unethical. If he dies, it's unforgivable. Let me take care of him. Please. Please, make it stop. Yeah, I know what you're sort of taking care of him, Dimbo. I've seen enough of your cruelty to know he'll never be free from it here. But I'm taking him away. No, leave him! He's too valuable! And shoot him. You even think about coming after your brother, and this bullet will be waiting for you. Waiting. Then we'll see who's valuable. Shoot him. Where will you take him? I'll just Chris shoot him McCann now. Can, they can help with special cases like David, minus the torture. Joker, contact the academy and let them know we've got someone who needs their help. <laughs> the elusive man can fire me if he doesn't like it. Archer deserves to die, you should totally shoot him. Why aren't you shooting him right now? I was successfully shut down, but the test subject was taken to a non-Cerberus facility for care. I'm sure Miranda can help with that. Uh, <laughs> while this is a considerable setback for Cerberus, and Dr. Archer's research will be instrumental in devising a safer approach to controlling the Geth. Oh yeah, sure. Um, <clears throat> because um, he's so good at that. Um, mm. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Okay. What does it say? From the elusive man. I understand you've taken Dr. Archer's brother into Grissom... to Grissom Academy. I'm familiar with their work. It should be a good home for him. 
I don't condone Dr. Archie's actions, but they did provide a breakthrough we've been sorely lacking thus far. We'll likely never find another individual with David's unique talents. Though your decision is understandable, it has set our effort it has set our efforts to understand the Geth back several years. Okay, so the elusive man is not happy with me. Oh, better Omni tool. Om nom 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 nom. Okay, so um, maybe um, not the actions of a renegade, I don't know, but it seemed like the research he was doing there was ridiculously dangerous and it was just getting people killed and didn't seem very beneficial. just seemed like doing it again was gonna lead to it blowing up in their face again because no, well you, we'd seen this before hadn't we with the quarians exactly the same situation more or less with uh, experiments in on the geth with vi's and it all going wrong and well yeah <laughs> it just and that scientist, did he, it seemed like he was a very good person to put in charge of a thing like that. No. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that was, uh, that was my reasoning behind it. It just seemed like it was a stupid, pointless experiment that was going to get a lot of people killed again, and already had. <laughs> um, so, um, thank you for watching. I think I'll end this video here, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye for now.